Here we have the digital AV adapter. This is a product that Apple started selling with the launch of iPad 2, but it is compatible with both iPads, iPad 1 and 2, the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4th generation. And basically all this does is connect to the dock adapter or the dock connection on those devices and allows you to output the video signal. Only the iPad 2 allows for mirroring and I'll show you what that is. But if we look at the connector, well, while it's still in its bag, you can see there is the HDMI connector, so this allows you to connect an HDMI cable to your high-def television, and you can also connect a 30-pin cable, so this allows you to sync and charge your device while you're using it on your high-def TV. Now here I've connected the HDMI adapter to the iPad and connected an HDMI cable to my home theater, and here we have the iPad turned on to the home screen, and if we look at, at our television, this is a 42-inch plasma television and the distortion is uh, because of the camera it's not actually distorting like that but you'll see the exact image of the iPad on your television but the unfortunate part about using your iPad on your television is because the iPad is not a widescreen display you have these wide bars on either side of the display and that's because at, at less than 16 by 9 the iPad cannot fill the screen so let's go ahead and grab the iPad and play around and see how this works. The HDMI connector also supports orientation, so we have the landscape view here. If we rotate to portrait, you get portrait on your television as well. So one of the things you can do, of course, is browse Safari on your television. So we have the Apple website on our TV and our iPad. You can even watch a video. The great thing about the HDMI adapter is it combines both audio and video, so you're going to get your audio on your home theater along with video. Now the audio is playing on the home theater, it's not playing on the iPad as well. Pause that. Now let's test video. So I'm going to launch Star Trek. Now you can see the video is playing on the television, but it's not playing on the iPad. So here you have a remote control for the video on the television. So you can do everything. You can skip to the next track, you can scrub it. Pause it. Now let's try some third-party apps. Let's go to Netflix. So now we're playing Star Trek via Netflix and again you can see that Netflix is allowing video playback in full high def and you see we have the Netflix controller here and you can see that uh, on this app it's telling us no volume available. Again that's because the volume has been transferred to the HDMI connection and of course you can control it, play it, and even scrub it. Now let's try some games. I've loaded Angry Birds, and again, it's not filling the entire screen, and the other problem I see here is there is no sound coming through the HDMI connector. So it looks like not all games support audio out on the uh, connector. Another use for the HDMI connector is Keynote. So Keynote, again, is like PowerPoint, so it allows you to play back slides. So I have a presentation here, and again, you can see I have the basically the remote control, and I have a full screen view on the television, and all I have to do is swipe my finger to go to each slide. Now taking a look at iPad 1, unfortunately you do not have mirroring available to you, uh, but you do have some other controls. So again, if you go to video, if you go to an app that plays video, you do get video playback. So again, we're playing Star Trek. And we do have sound as well, so both video and sound are transmitted through the HDMI connector. And of course, Keynote is supported with this adapter on iPad 1. Just click play, and the uh, presentation will be transferred to your television. The adapter also supports slideshows. If you go to photos, click slideshow. You see the slideshow here and on the television. Netflix is also one of the video playback apps that will play back over the HDMI cable to your television. Now here we have an iPod Touch 4th generation. If we connect the adapter, you can see we don't get mirroring, but again, if we use one of the video apps, so let's go to video up here, let's play Inception. So now we have a remote control, and Inception is playing in full screen or widescreen, and the audio is going to the home theater through the HDMI connector. Now it's the same story with the iPhone 4. If we plug it in, nothing happens, but if we launch one of the video apps, so if we go to iPod, we play Inception, again the screen flashes, it's playing back in full HD with audio.
Now you can also use this connector and connect it to a dock, so either an iPad dock or this universal iPod iPhone dock. And if you connect your 30 pin cable here, you could constantly keep it charged while docked here and you have the option to play it back to your television. So once again, this is Detroit Board with a look at the digital AV adapter for the iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 4, iPad 1, and iPad 2. Thanks for watching.